why is this book worth our time? Number one, there is a difference between a change, actual changes in an organization, and transition, the emotional, psychological, internal reality of the people coping with such change. This book helps us understand this reality. And, and I got to tell you that, that if somebody just expects people to deal with it, they're expecting something that's almost impossible. Number two, to fail to deal with the transition is to fail your people. Number three, to fail to deal with the transition is to fail the organization because to ignore the transition process sets up even larger problems in the future for the organization. Number four, this transition management is learnable, so therefore it is wise to learn it and put it into practice. Now, I'm going to oversimplify and tell you something that's critical in the book, and it's this. It really does help if you just give people permission to say, I'm having difficulty with this. If you'll just give them that much permission, then things are better. So, uh, if you have not heard one of my presentations before, I'm going to read you a number of excerpts or quotes from the book. I'm still on page two. These are numbered, and uh, I'll take you through page for page. Please keep your eyeballs where I'm at, and that will help you follow. Quote number one, diseases <clears throat> always attack men when they are exposed to change. Herodotus from the fifth century. So, isn't that interesting? Number two, in a quickly transforming landscape, they must be able to move their organizations from an initial idea to full-scale implementation with little to no time for employees to adjust to the new way of doing things. What's more, they must contend with a pervasive sense of unease as people who have lost the margin of safety they once had in their savings and retirement plans now wonder how long the tumultuous economic environment will last, what will happen next, and if they will make it. Now, it isn't the changes that do you in. It's the transitions. They aren't the same thing. Change is situational. The move to a new site, the retirement of the founder, the reorganization of the roles on the team, the revisions to the pension plan, Transition, on the other hand, is psychological. It is a three-phase <coughs> process that people go through as they internalize and come to terms with the details of the new situation that the change brings about. In a transition starts with an ending and finishes with a beginning. So you've got to acknowledge and name and accept and, and say it's okay to have Something has ended and something is now beginning. Four takeaways. Number one, people are people with human fears and human needs. Among these are these. People need someone to know and something to do. Add this one. They need a why, a purpose. Don't ex ignore these basic human realities and needs. Treat your people like people, especially in periods of transition in the midst of change. <clears throat> Number two, remind your people that every organization's life cycle is one of constant change, thus constant transition. Some are major, not so major some. In other words, constant, perpetual, non-stop change is the way of this world right now. Number three, but this fact that the way of the world is non-stop change and transition does not mean that people can skip the process of letting go, floundering and wondering, that's the neutral zone, and new beginnings. And leaders ignore this understanding and skip necessary steps at great peril to the health of the organization and the psychological health of the actual people. Number four, so in other words, your organization has to take the tangible steps needed to lead your people through the transition, helping them let go, leading them to and through the neutral zone into the new beginnings. Uh, if you have a friend who's in an organization that's in the midst of change, let me recommend that you buy them managing transitions, making the most of change. <laughs>
It's a valuable book. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.